One of the first things we learn when we start programming in Unity is the use of update to make an action happen every frame. But is it still practical when our project grows? When we make an update call, behind the scenes, Unity takes care of us and performs a few safety checks. First, it checks that the object registered to update hasn't been destroyed and is still alive. Then, Unity needs to check that it meets the requirements to be active and that its start method has already been called. And finally, after the object passes the test, Unity also ensures that its update method is functioning correctly. Now, you might think these checks are negligible, but unfortunately, they're far from it. In the following experiment, 10,000 updates were called, and as you can see, most of the computation went towards Unity's checks, with only 0.4% going towards the code that the developer actually ran. And yes, this overhead also happens with empty update methods left in the code by mistake. So although this whole process is intended to protect us, it comes at an unnecessary cost that we simply don't want. So what to do? A popular way to overcome this is by using the Observer Design Pattern. Here's how it works. There's one interface that serves as the Observer and another class that serves as the Subject. The Subject is the active one, and it holds a list of observers, waiting for it to notify them when an event occurs. And it also provides the option to register and unregister observers from the list. So in our case, the Subject is an update manager that lives in the scene on its own object and it holds the only update method in the game, in which it notifies all the observers when it occurs. And the observer is iUpdateObserver, which our object will implement. And of course, it will also register itself to the update manager. Awesome! We've gained a free performance boost, and now we can manage many update calls without worrying about the overhead. But don't celebrate yet there's still one final step written in spilled blood, which is adding protection in case someone modifies the observers list while it's being iterated. Now, finally, our update manager is bulletproof and complete. But why stop here? We can easily extend this concept for fixed update and late update with their own observers. Now, performance isn't the only benefit of using the update manager. Thanks to it, even non-mono behavior classes can register for update calls. Plus, this technique implements single entry point, as all our updates now go through one point, making them easier to track. So while a more fitting name could be Update Publisher, since it doesn't actually manage anything, today the Update Manager has become an industry standard, and we shared some plugins that implement it in the description below. Enjoyed the video? Share it with your friends! and show us that love with a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching. We hope to see you soon in another Practic API video.